Hey guys, uh, this is Banto. Today we're playing Flotsam, a survival strategy game where we are floating around on the ocean, scavenging for recycling materials and building up our colony to survive in the wide open ocean. And uh, this is going to be a first time really for me playing this game, so it's going to be quite interesting and a uh, really fun experience. So I will be learning together with you guys. Well, that's it then. Garbage floods wiped away our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking to these useless rocks and go explore. That sounds like a good idea. Who needs land? These endless blue waves, that's all we need. The flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish the plastic into beautiful pearls. If only we weren't out of fuel. So here we can uh, get a few different names. And there are some, some pretty fun names. Junk Town, Wetstad Am Sea, Junkport, Whale Heap. And our town is going to be Junkburg. That's our town. Start our adventure. So here we are. This is our land, I suppose. But we don't have any land. But we have a lot of stuff lying around here. A lot of useful things. Hopefully that we're going to be able to use some nice fish jumping around here. Nibble fish. So that's going to be nice. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. I've been looking for this game for a while. And I finally got the opportunity to play this game. So thank you developers of this game for... Give him the opportunity for me to play this game. Okay, so this is wet wood. We've got some more wet wood. Okay, a lot of wood on this side, it seems. We do have some plastic. And uh, let's see, where do we get started then? Camera controls, uh, resources. You have many re different resources to disposal. The first few you can find floating in the water. Some you can find on landmarks. Other it will be made from other resources. Most are used to build. Wood and plastic. Some are used to be consumed. So cans and water, like food. And others have special uses. So, sort of fuels, I suppose. So, this seems to be a pretty helpful way to look through things if we need to learn anything. Swim marker. Mark, a marker that gets diff a marker that gets the drifters only to swim to it. This is one that has a limited range. We get a boat marker that mo uh, marks for the boat. Limited to drift the salvage uh, boats. The range of it is unlimited. Oh, nice. A fish marker. A marker that only can be used on uh, fish schools. And drifters with a fishing boat can fish theirs. That sounds really awesome. Oh, and we also do have research. That's pretty awesome. You can unlock more advanced constructions by researching them. You can find the construction research through the research panel. So since this is a little bit of a, like a first time for me playing it, I'm hope that in that you guys will learn along with me if you guys haven't seen the game yet. Building. Does not building. Open the build menu. Category. Show each construction main focus. There are six categories. We got town, food, water, workshops, boats, and navigation, which seems kind of self-explanatory, really. Doesn't it sound good? Placing construction. To place a construction, you need to have its resource and requirement available in storage. When you select the construction in the menu, you will have a blueprint of it with when you hover over with your mouse. Buildings can only be placed next to walkways. So that's how we kind of expand our area of uh, possible places to build. Okay, so down here, show all markers. Okay, so that's when we set out, for example, this one. Places a savage boy only for swimming drifters. Okay, so let's try that, guys. And I guess we can... Yes, we can make these different sizes and we can see how much it covers. So perhaps we would start something like that. We got a lot of plastic and let's not swim too far. Something like that, perhaps. Boy marker. And here we can set up how many swimmers or how many drifters want to swim. And look at this guy just swimming around. What a hero. Saving us, helping us. So that's pretty cool. So if we want to, like I said, we can set another one to go there. And just jump in there, excited to get some trash for him. So that's pretty cool, and uh, since we have a lot of more wood over here, I'm, I'm supposing that we could try to gather wood from this area. So let's do another one here. And how do we see how many people we have? We have, looks like we have three. Town population and housing capacity. So we only have three as I can see it. Yes, it seems so. And in this game, you don't actually directly control people. You will actually just... Put out things and that's the way that it will be working. We can see they're going back and forth for the line here. Hello. So that's pretty awesome. And they all look different. I really, really like that. I do not think we could name them. But if we can... Oh, we can name them. Okay, guys. So if you guys have requests for drifter names, 
drop them in the comments and I will be naming our drifters in our flotsam town. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna name one of them Banto because we're gonna have one Banto. I gotta be a part of this. So give me name requests, guys. We have currently two girls up for grabs. Hello. So Jane and Guppy Porton. And also for Nicole the Crab Shrot. Okay, so is this kind of like different things that they prefer? Like cooked mussel, sushi. They can see the inventory and you can probably follow them. That's pretty cool. I really, really like the idea of this game. It's a very like different kind of take on a survival game. So let's see, can we perhaps build some? If we click this thing, that brings up our menus and then we have some walkway. Allows your drifters to walk around and attach buildings. So this is one is made by plastic waste and we also have small storage yard, stored salvage, flotsam and scrap. So yeah, we are building from this one. That's pretty cool. Looks very free to build it. Oh, okay. We click and drag like that. So then we could probably make this one kind of go towards that boy. Because then uh, they don't have to swim as much. Maybe they can jump from our bridge or whatever to call it. Okay, so now they're building. Yes, putting all the trash there. That's a good job, Banto. Good job. And uh, we can see their health. We can see their hunger, the water. And if they have gotten enough of rest. A new world. A temper. Rejuvenate. I can say the word. <laughs> Torpedo moves faster, so that's like specific things every drifter, every drifter has. So this one, turtle moves slower. A new world, sounds good. And let's see for the last person. Hey. The same one, torpedo. So that's pretty cool. So, I mean, we're getting plastic, we're getting some wood, and that's awesome. Looks like Bantu's having a drink there. Looks like he's having a party almost. <laughs> So I suppose we want to do a uh, small storage yard so we can store things on that one. And um, I'm going to put it here, pretty close to our center. So that should be a good spot. And we will be able to make small houses. That's going to be really cool to get. But this one requires us to have a little bit of wood. So a little bit of plastic and also a little bit of wood. But uh, since they're busy building, I think we're just going to have to wait for them a while. Set the camera location. Nice, that's cool. We can of course speed up the game. I think this is the amount of food, yes. And then here we have water. So like that's something we definitely have to think about. Considering this is a survival game, we definitely have to think about having enough of uh, food and water because that's important. And to get some food, I suppose we will be maybe finding some trash here if we find some cans floating around in the ocean i can imagine that but also we do need to get most likely some fish from there let's see here drying rack and good for drying wood and fish oh so we maybe have to dry the wood now we're gonna make one of those at least and we may as well have it pretty close to our storage so we can work a little bit faster there i'm really liking it so far really really liking it so definitely let me know guys if this is something you guys want to see more of on my channel because i'm I'm quite excited, such a different game, I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to play this, guys. So here we can make a uh, distiller, remove salt from seawater to generate fresh water. So this one requires wooden plastic, we're definitely gonna need that one. Mooring port, a harbor where small boats are both crafted and moored. Salvage boat, a boat uses the salvaged ocean for garbage and scavenge islands. Fishing boat, a small boat used to catch fish. Can we catch fish? Without... I don't think we can. I think we have to actually make those boats. Yeah, swimming drifters. And I, I suppose there's sharks in water. Ooh, wow. Look at the death guy. That is freaking awesome. Wow, look at those teeps. These are post-apocalyptic worlds. So that's pretty awesome. Look at the death guy. It looks freaking awesome. I see there's like an old town or something below us. Not sure if you guys can see it. But there looks to be some buildings underneath us. So that's pretty awesome. Because the world has been flooded, you know? Okay, so on this one then, we can uh, decide to hang uh, wood or fish. And I guess we can dry some wood. So wet wood will become dry wood. Good for drying wood and fish. I'm not entirely sure 
what the dried wood like would be used for except instead of wet wood. I mean, dry wood would mostly be better always in real life, you know, compared to wet wood. But in this game, you never know. Probably for fuel, I suppose. Uh, so let's see, we did have a boy here. Is it still around or... I think we had a button to click before. Boy markers, I think they're gone. Okay, so when they have spent them, like collected everything that was there, it seems like they do disappear. So we might want to gather a little bit more and that should be good. We got a little bit of wood and a little plastics, that's awesome. Got two people gathering a little bit here. We can make it a little bit bigger. Maybe that's overkill, I don't know. We're gonna go for that for now. Looks like this guy is first. Is we gotta fix the um, drinking situation. To do that, we do need to get this one. So collecting all of this garbage is gonna be how we survive. Getting garbage is the way to survive. What is this thing? Sailboats on the rocks. Some drifters tried making a town on the island. Bad idea. With all the garbage floods, a sailboat has been wrecked on the cliffs though. Perhaps we can make use of its mast. Oh, that's interesting. So we can gather a mast, some rope and uh, metal scraps, right? So how do we find this place? Can we get to it? Click that thing. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Look at that, guys. That's the boat looking pretty awesome. I like things like these small points of interest. It's pretty awesome. But uh, to get to this area, we do need to, you know, start to get some basic boats. It's pretty cool to try to live here on an island. Pretty awesome. They even have some electricity here sometime in the past, perhaps. But it doesn't look like anyone lives there anymore. That's pretty cool. And we can return with, uh, I think it's this one. There we go. So that's a way to get back easily. And we can just click this one to get back to that one. And click this one to get home again. So pretty damn useful. So it looks like we're collecting quite a lot of trash. Happy treasures. It looks like we might have to do a bigger storage yard. They can store some stuff in our town heart though. But we might need to do some more storage soon. So a little bit more of the wood. And uh, when it comes to this it seems that we can use both wet wood and dry wood. I think so. Looks like that. Is she looking at me? It looked like she was like, Hello, notice me, Banto. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna gather here. Simply because I want to get uh, specifically a little bit more wood. And now we can do the distiller. Removes the salt from the seawater to generate fresh water. This is gonna be super useful. Finally, people might be able to actually drink a bit better. But we're probably gonna use fuel for this, right? So I'm supposing that we will be using the dry wood. In some way, when we're working with the distiller, we're gonna see when it gets built. And really looking for that. Yes, put some nice trash in that. So to get more people, I'm not entirely sure how I get more people. Is it either for like getting kids, getting new children, or is it that we will find some stranded people? And my guess is most likely stranded people. Or maybe people will even arrive to us. I don't know, really. Storage. Flotsam, flotsam that you salvage will need to be stored in your town. To see all the flotsam that you stored, click the inventory button. You can click more. You can create more storage by building storage yards. Water is stored differently. You can view the stored water in the inventory panel as well. To create more water storage, you will need to build a water storage. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, good helpful things. Passive producers. Passive producers are construction that produce an item without needing a drifter present. To select what the producer needs to be produced, open a production panel and select an item. If items are needed to start, a drifter will bring these to the producer. Select the recipe, like dry wood. And we will be using the wet wood to get some dry wood. A passive producer will continue working until it's disabled or out of input items. That's pretty cool. Production limits. For every productable item, a production limit can be set. You can do this via the production limit panel. When a limit is reached, the relevant producer will stop producing. This panel can be opened by clicking this button the saw. So we can set on 
how much things we want to have in pretty much. That is pretty awesome. I love it. Now it's sort of features like a rim world if you guys know that game. I really like how they did it in that game. Okay, so we do have the distiller ready. Fresh water. Okay, let's see here. Fuel. Okay, we need firewood for doing this one. Few recipe. Okay, so we click that one to do more water pretty much. And then we need some firewood. And this one out to cute. So I'm just gonna do like four of those. I'm not sure how much that will be in water. If that will be for water reserve, it probably will be. The nutritional value of the item one, okay. So firewood, let's see here. I think we can select a different one. So it looks like we are able to do so. But let's check out the drying rack over here. So like I said before, dry wood or dry fish and uh, wet wood. I think they're getting done. Oh yeah, dry wood is done. So I wonder if that could be used directly as uh, firewood then. I suppose it could be, but I'm not entirely sure really. So I think we might want to do like another drying rack or two. I'm gonna do two new them. And then we may as well perhaps do some more storage. So we have some more place for storing our beautiful garbage. And uh, let's see here, how are we doing with sources? We have a pretty good amount of wet wood. A pretty decent amount of plastic as well. Metal scrap we don't have really. Drifter needs, okay let's check this out. Drifter needs, your drifters can survive on the fresh air alone. They will have different needs that need to be met or else they will suffer even worse and die. We don't want them to die. Don't worry, they will automatically take care of their own needs when possible, which is pretty awesome. You can see these by selecting a drifter in the drifter panel you get an overview of their needs of the state of it. Hunger. Hunger can be fulfilled by eating food. When food is available in the town, the drifter will eat some. We have an overview of the food in your top of the town, top right of the game screen. So that's pretty awesome, like we see over here. First, first can be fulfilled by drinking. The water is available in the town, the drifter will drink some. You have an overview of the water in your town on the top right of the game screen. It's up here as well. I'm not sure why it says top right of the game screen because it's pretty much up in the middle. Rest. The rest can be restored by sleeping when a bed or a house is available. The drifter will sleep there. You can get an overview of the house in your town at the top right of the game screen. So we pretty much have uh, three drifters but zero homes. But we're gonna get them homes for sure. It looks like we can make a small house. That's pretty awesome. I'm a little bit curious about the firewood, but we should definitely make a house. A home for your drifters, where they can rest. So this one, I feel like I wanna have like more of a, like a village area of our town. So perhaps we would uh, make another extension out this way. Okay, we don't have so much plastic, so we can only go around there for now. So we need to gather a little bit more of the uh, beautiful trash for us. So we do have quite a bit over here, so let's uh, gather some. And maybe make it a little bit bigger, like so. And this one. And I'm gonna remove that one, I think, for now. Because it's very scattered, all the things there. We wanna try to get as much as we can in one place, I would say. Uh, this one, uh, we might want to... I'm gonna remove that one. And then we're gonna make it over here, but we're gonna make it big, really big, like that. We can gather a lot of wood, a lot of plastic before it floats away. I'm not entirely sure if it actually floats away. It would be interesting. And as you can see, this isn't really that far away. I could imagine my people will actually be able to swim over there. But um, I do not think that I can send them over that way. I'm pretty sure we need to uh, use one of these buttons down here to get there. Probably this one. So firewood here, okay, let's dry some more wood. Can have drying wood on all of these. Let's see for our building thing, is there anything new we can do? Woodwork and shadow, drifters can craft resources with wood like rope and firewood. Okay, so this is where we'll get firewood, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, like this is gonna be pretty much our industry area. So I'm gonna have this one next to those and i'm probably gonna extend a little bit of some walk place there and uh, i hope we can get some more resources soon because i would love to start building a little bit more i'm gonna have two uh, drifters swim to that one 
and let's see here. Uh, maybe not actually. Let's remove all of them for this one for now. And let's focus on this one instead. Because we need mostly plastic for now. But let's see if I only have like two of them there. That should be good enough. And as you can see, they are really, really sleepy. So we, we should be getting some small houses. But I can see now that I'm actually... Oh, okay. Ah, oh. That's why. So this one actually needs dry wood for small houses. Okay. We have four dry wood, but we need to have six of them. So when we have six, we're going to make in a small house. That's going to be awesome. And we have some research, by the way. So town here, research point, we have zero. We will be able later to do a store yard, a house, workshops. We got scrap smith, we got plastic recycler. For water, we got a small water container. We got water container, solar still. The saltinator, food, we got some fishing huts. We got some fishing kabob and the food truck. Food track, that sounds pretty advanced for us. So that's pretty cool. I'm really liking this game so far. Hope you guys are as well. So I'm gonna do our first house here. And we can actually do another. So let's do that because I don't know how many can live in every house. And um, we may as well have them decently close to one another. So they will have some neighbors. Some people like neighbors. Some people hate neighbors. These guys are just gonna have to accept to be neighbors. Because they are living underwater, so they can't really escape anywhere. If they don't want to go into a shark's belly or something. <laughs> so, okay. So if we want to do fishing, we do need to gather plastic and we do need to have some dry wood. A small boat used to catch fish. Um, but there's like a P in front of it. Okay, we need to make a mooring port. So you make this one at first, it seems, to be able to make this one. A harbor where small boats can be both crafted and moored. Oh, okay. So this is when you make the boat, but this is where where you make the boat. But this is the actual boat. Okay, interesting. That's cool. Ropes. I don't think we have found any ropes yet, have we? But we maybe we'll be able to craft some. Uh, maybe. I know that this place had some rope like for those. But at the same time, we can't really go there. We may need ropes to make this one. So I suppose there is definitely possible in some way to be able to get some ropes somewhere. It must be possible. Sails. Allows movement of the town. So do they mean that I can actually move my entire town? If I have sails, do they mean that? <laughs> that is some pretty crazy stuff if you can do that. Uh, but I do think we are gonna definitely need like a wood working shed. It feels like that is something towards what we need to do. Yeah, it says here. Craft resources with wood, like rope and firewood. So this is where we'll be making some firewood and ropes. So that's definitely something we want to be getting very soon. So let's see here. We're going to be gathering quite a lot of wood from this one. Let's have... Um, let's have like two of them going there. Then one of them can be working in town with uh, hanging up some wood and storing things and all that good stuff. Because we need our town to be running. Uh, oh, look at these houses, by the way. Small house. It's like really only like a bed, a little uh, drawer next to it with a clock on top of it. <laughs> that would be scary, but it's it's a freaking huge bed though. Like look how big that bed is. That's pretty awesome. A home for your drifters where they can rest. And it seems like our guppy Yo. is resting here. Jane Guppy Porto. Ooh, I hear another whale. Look at that. I just love that big creature. It's looking pretty damn awesome. So as you can see now, we do have uh, two houses. So that is damn pretty awesome. I'm so excited for this game. I really, really like when I try out a new game and I really, really like it. It's so nice. So we can make a woodworking... Oh, is that? That's actually what we made here. I'm so confused. Okay. So to make rope, we need to have uh, dry wood. So it would take two dry wood to make one rope. So we may as well queue up like, let's say... Let's make four of those. And this is not probably most likely not a um, passive craft, so this will actually require a person. Yes, requires a drifter and it will be working 16 seconds, I suppose. And then we will be getting some nice ropes, which is what we are going to be needing for making a mooring point. Okay, so this is where you park it as well, as you can see on a park sign, that's cool. It's so fun to try new things, so thank you once again developers for giving me the try to play this game. And I hope you guys watching are enjoying it as well. And the next episode after this one, 
I will be a little bit less noob, so everything will be hopefully floating a little bit better, you know? Right? Uh, this guy is hungry. We are having 30 in food still. So I don't think we have to panic too much about it, but we definitely should try to get her soon. It do looks like... Oh, we can make a mooring point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's pretty cool. But where do we want to have it? I feel like I could probably... I'm just going to make it look a little bit more beautiful. I mean, making it beautiful is probably most, not the most important thing when you're just trying to survive. Uh, but I just thought like, it would be fun if we try to make it a little bit a little bit better. And then we can have it sitting here so boats will go from this side, wherever they need to go. And that's kind of fitting for if we're going to be going to this island over here, which I definitely want to go. And uh, then we'll be able to get some, hopefully some a mast some rope and definitely some metal scrap because as I understood it uh, you can only really get metal scrap from uh, places like this because there's not going to be much uh, floating metal you know because metal sinks to the bottom you know that's not any floating thing and I really want to get more people that's what I'm looking forward to let's see how we're doing here it looks like we should definitely be gathering some more but there are current buildings, so that's good. We're gonna have, uh, let's say, one. Should, should we have two swimmers? Let's have two swimmers. It's pretty far away. And we might want to extend our town a little bit towards this way. Yes, we have maybe a little bit less of uh, having to swim. But at the same time, when we get the salvage boat, as I said, we will be able to use that one to scavenge the ocean for stuff. So that's gonna probably probably improve it quite a lot but uh, to do this one we do need to gather more plastic and we're having two of our drifters swimming out there to gather some that's awesome and let's queue up so we do some firewood so that's going to be using dry wood so i want to make like uh, five of those because we are running low in water as you can see we only have nine in water so I queued up to have five of those. It's going to be very nice and super useful. So here is where we're going to be mooring our boat later. And that's a new word. I didn't really, really know about that word. So that's good to learn some new words every day. So there we go. We're getting some water for the first time. That's so awesome to see. Bring some new water for us. Some delicious taste of water. I'm gonna get some more plastic soon. There's not so much plastic in that one left, uh, but we do have some here. So I'm gonna make some new boys. Some just some small ones. I'm just gonna put them out there. One here, and then we do another one sitting over here, cleaning up the ocean. Good guy, Banto. And we may as well queue up quite a lot of water. So I wonder if the blue one means that uh, this is the amount we'll be able, this is the amount we'll be able to produce with the amount of firewood we got, because the rest of them go grey. So I think it works that way. It seems so. Boats. The boats can be used in various of tasks like salvaging and fishing. Every boat needs a mooring point. Amount of boats. Amount of mooring points. Okay, interesting. That's nice. We have one point and one and zero boats. To build a boat, you simply need a free mooring point to place it. Drifters can use any mooring point to moor their boat. This is an empty mooring point where a boat can be placed. This is a boat ready to be placed at the mooring point. All it needs is a left click to confirm. Different boats have different specialties. Drifters need a specific boat for certain tasks. We've got salvaging boat for salvaging resources on the ocean or on the landmarks, and fishing boats will be gathering fish in the open ocean. That's pretty awesome. So we need a tiny bit more, then we'll be able to make a salvage boat. And I want to do that one, and I want to send that salvage boat over here. And I definitely want to see how fast they go in the ocean, because that's probably going to help a lot compared to having all of our people swimming around like this. They're probably getting a nice, nice exercise from it, but they are. I'm pretty sure they're going to enjoy having some real boats to go around, right? And I'm probably going to make some more storage yard later. Feels like we should have some more. 
But uh, let's make our salvage boat, our first boat. So awesome. So let's make some more firewood. We're definitely going to need some more, so we may as well queue up quite a lot of it. And we can't take this thing. That will auto-queue things forever, and it might be a good idea. For now, I'm not going to do it. But I'm probably going to do it later. But there we go. I can see our first boat taking shape. Pretty awesome. So let's see then if... Um, salvage boy, okay. So is this the distance we can go with them? Can't we go over here? Let's see. Let's see if they will be going there or not. I do see the, this circle here. So I'm not entirely sure if they can go outside of that or if they can't. I'm gonna put the one to be like out here just to see if they go to that one instead. Okay, he's actually going outside. That's awesome. And we can just remove this one. So I think the circle we just saw there, that's the distance you can go with your normal drifters. Like how far they can swim. Because going further is probably going to be dangerous. So I'm just going to remove this one. But that's awesome. Look at him. He's going so far and so fast and looting so good. So let's see. How do we get to this one? Do I just click like here? Oh, okay. Do we just click that? Salvage. Yes. That should send our boat over there, right? I do think that is how it works. Uh, let's uh, put some more of uh, dry wood, if we have any. Okay, every wood is dry now. That's awesome. Uh, we may want to queue up a few more firewood. Yes, we have everything going. Oh, you can even name... You can even name the boats. <laughs> the Weary Tub. Sabanto, the captain, is going on an adventure. He's actually going to this one, I think. Let's remove that one. Or was that the mark that we were supposed to have? No, it wasn't. Okay, Sabanto's going over here. Looking around to salvage some things. That's so awesome that he actually walked around here. You see, he even took down the sails. That's attention to details, guys. If that's not attention to details, I don't know what is. That's so awesome. He's just putting everything back in a boat and he's going in for another run. More things together. Do you have a good computer here or something? Would be awesome. <laughs> nice. I think we gathered everything, I suppose. Yes. We probably did. Very nice. Good job, Banto. So we have gathered from our very, very first island. So that's pretty cool. But guys, uh, this is going to be our first episode of the game, Flotsam. Hope you guys enjoyed. I personally did enjoy it really, really much. I'm so happy to play this game. And uh, thank you once again, developers. If you guys want to see more of this game, do let me know in the comments. And uh, like I said before, we have uh, drifters to be named. So drop your name request in the comments. And if you want to name a boat, feel free to do so as well. So thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload more videos such as this. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you next time. Take care everybody, and stay floating everyone.